Chat! My mom texted me yesterday. Hold on a second. Hold on a fucking second. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Nim. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, so... <laughs> ro ro raggy my, my mom messaged me yesterday and said, Happy birthday! With a confetti and a cake emoji. And I was like, Did you, uh... Did you message the wrong parson? And I didn't get a response back for a while. But then... <laughs> but then I got a message that said, Hi, Kirsha. No Ubisoft noises. Hold on. <laughs> Do you want money? <laughs> Help! I got a message that said, Hi, Kirsha. It's Weed Guy. We had a rough night with your mom. She's not remembering things correctly. Her nurse had to give her a pretty heavy sedative to calm her down. She's not remembering who she is sometimes or where she is. She's getting very, very confused. She keeps asking for her daughter Freya and calling me the Nazi guy. Did they have a daughter together? I've never heard of her mentioning a daughter Freya, but she keeps wanting to know where her daughter is and why the Nazi guy took her away. She's not making much sense right now. My mom has a personality quirk where she doubles up on words. So reading this text message and having it say very, very, uh, you know, uh, I'm just like, my mom wrote this. This isn't weed guy. Not only that, but my mom uses speech to text. She doesn't actually text. So it gets uh, like she and he mixed up pretty frequently. Because when you're speaking, sometimes it doesn't pick it up correctly. So my mom is now pretending to be Weed Guy, also pretending that she's having hallucinations. Also, I told the story about how my mom kidnapped her friend's child. Well, it was a baby. I shouldn't say it was a baby. Kidnapped my friend or her friend's baby at one point. The precursor to her kidnapping her friend's baby was because she claimed to have had a miscarriage and that the Nazi guy had gotten her pregnant. This is before she married the weed guy, but she was also not supposed to have been dating the Nazi guy. So she claimed that she had gotten knocked up by the Nazi guy and she had a miscarriage, and then she went crazy from, like, the guilt of the miscarriage, and that's what caused her to kidnap her friend's baby. I can confirm that the baby kidnapped happened. I cannot confirm if the miscarriage happened because I wasn't there. I wasn't- I wasn't- <laughs> Far Cry's very loud! There we go. I fixed it. I'm sorry. <gasps> it didn't look like it was that loud on my end. I'm sorry. The music enhances the mom lore! Uh, so I can't confirm if she actually had a miscarriage or not, especially because, like, five or so years after she had my brother, she got her tubes tied. And so she, like, had gone and gotten appointments after that to make sure that, you know, she wasn't still capable of getting pregnant. And to my knowledge, she always claimed that she could not get pregnant, both because of having her tubes tied and because of health issues that had rendered her unable to have kids. That could have been a lie, or the miscarriage could have been a lie, or both of them could be lies. I don't know. I can only confirm... I can only confirm that the baby kidnap actually happened. Give back the music? Oh, okay. Let me just crank the volume down. There we go. So, I, gu I guess I guess she would have named the daughter Freya, which makes sense because the Nazi guy was really into Odin theology and tried teaching me Odin runes at one point. And so I responded, uh, she's not had any other ch kids, just myself and my brother. Uh, she wasn't having any hallucinations or issues before. Uh, what could have caused the sudden slip? And uh, my mom, pretending to be the weed guy, says, Her mind is declining rapidly, as her body is also. And I said, She seemed so lucid last month, even with the physical health problems. And my mom, pretending to be the weed guy, says, 
It comes and goes. Some days she has really, really good days. And some days she has really bad, bad days. And that's why she has a full-time nurse now. I don't know what else to do. I feel helpless. I want to do so much, but I can't. I don't know what to do for her. And I was like, well, I'm sure she appreciates you being there. You're not a doctor. There's not much else you can do besides be there for her. And uh, then my mom pretending to be weed guy says, thanks. It's really hard seeing her like this and feeling so helpless. <laughs> but she got in character by smoking a bowl before texting. Mother gaslight, wow. Yeah, and it's like, I hate when this happens because like, I know she's lying. But I can't call her out on it because like, what the fuck would that do, right? Like, I would just cause problems. It would cause an argument. I'd probably get phone calls. I don't want to deal with that. Is she trying to get you to visit? I don't fucking know. Because she didn't, she didn't ask for anything. So it, she does this often where she'll just want to, like, start drama. <laughs> does my brother live close? He does. Not to me, to her. Do 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 Thank you, Black Wolf Creva. Thank you for the fucking slaves. Thank you. Thank you, Black Wolf Creva, for the slaves. Big Giga Chat didn't even leave a message. Just slapped me with all the slaves, man. Holy shit. Slaves is low. Yeah, I cranked down my desktop audio for now because uh, the music was really loud, you said. Uh, mom engaging in gay ops. People wonder why Foxu keeps track of everything. Yeah, this is uh, this is something my mom would always do. She would she would like like just creating weird like general hospital all my children woman drama shit. So why did you lie to us that your birthday was July 6th when it's August 5th? It's not! I don't even- I don't even know anyone in my family with an August birthday! Oh, hello, Cheems Ball. I was like, what the fuck did my foot just touch? Ten years from now, those kids are gonna wind up cancelled! <sighs> Your mom would be a good FBI instructor. I mean, I guess if you're learning on how to get into the mind of a perp. This is why you hate gaslighting, even as a joke? It is. It really is. Because it's like... Having to grow up with a mom who does this kind of thing constantly and having to figure out when and if she's lying and when and if she's telling the truth is exhausting. And even if I don't have to deal with it every day or directly anymore, when she randomly decides to like do this over text, it's still just like, why are you doing this, man? You know? So that's something your brother does, except his hypotheticals would normally be him pretending to be some kind of extremist suddenly. What the fuck? Alright, let me actually fix the volume so stream isn't cucked. Make the 